So here at the Lunara Connect, and uh, who are you? Yeah, I'm Dave Pickett. I'm the Lava Lab lead, uh, based in the Cambridge office. I look after the Lava Lab. So what is Lava Lab? Lava Lab is uh, an automated testing facility. Uh, it's a pile of servers and, and um, ARM-based devices that automates the testing of all the, the engineering output for the Linaro teams. Because uh, all the engineers need to actually test their software and real hardware. Yeah, and so we do it on a continuous loop, continuous integration loop. It's on a, on a daily basis. Everything, all the engineering output, or well, most of the engineering output is tested in lava, so that you get trends. You can actually see over time what's whether things are improving, whether things are getting better, worse. You know that sort of thing. So they were saying uh, lava is like the engine of Lunaro. It is the heart of the Linaro because everything we do has to be tested. Otherwise, you don't know if you're doing well or not, or you don't know if you've broken anything. So here you're showing uh, something on the screen. What's going on here? Right. So. <coughs> Well, as I said, we're testing most of the engineering output that the NARO produces, but there have been two areas that we have not previously been able to integrate. Lava has improved enough over the last six to nine months that we are now able to consider integrating. So, um, uh, this is like a specific part that you are integrating? Yes, so this is the tool chain build system which has previously been a completely separate system and it's now, uh, this week, I've been working on it and integrating it into Lava. Alright, so what else are you showing right here? Well, I'm going to hand you over to Tyler Baker, who our uh, technical architect, who will take you through the rest of it. Sure. So, what we have here, we have the uh, Samsung uh, Arndell Octa. This is a big little uh, 15 8 design. And what we're going to demonstrate here is that the idle power about half an amp. Now, if I look here, this is lava. What lava's done here is uh, deploy uh, our 1402, our 1402 uh, Ubuntu image. Uh, we have it included here. We're going to build the latest uh, Linux kernel on it natively. So it's uh, the 314 RC5 kernel. And then we're going to look at the, the, the active power management. Matt, would you go ahead and uh, build? Now the kernel builds kicked off. You can see that the amperage is uh, moving north of uh, half an amp. So the idea here is we're going to go. We're going to do a clean. We're going to make. make uh, we're going to build the Xeno step quick, and then we're going to uh, produce the image. And then. Right, so, um, so this is this like a new thing that you are doing to Lama is to measure the power consumption? So we've, we've had that ability for quite some time now. Uh, what we're demonstrating here is the ability to have what we call a hack session. Yeah, the hack session is essentially our developers say, I would like this image on this board, and then I'd like an SSH session. So they submit their public key uh, in the Lava job. Uh, Lava orchestrates the image deployment and then installs the key on the target and then provides them uh, the access to, to uh, via SSH. Because what, how was it before? There was no hacking? Or? No, there was no hacking. So if you see, if you look right here, you can see this is what the lava job says. It, it basically stops and says, please go ahead and, and SSH into the target and this is what we've done right here. So it's more of not only automated tests now, but it's also hardware management uh, and, and it allows us to use the Lava Scheduler to uh, restrict resources that may be scarce within Lunaro. So, so new ARM platforms such as the ARM V8 server that we have here, it's also booted uh, with Lava. So the idea behind Lava here is that we want to make sure it's easy to boot these platforms. Uh, when developers are, are uh, working with early silicon, they have to type in the commands by hand. They have to work with the TFTP server by hand. Uh, so Lava abstracts all that. Lava does that for them. And then Lava simply provides a hacking session to them uh, once user space is booted for them to log into and do, do their work. So what we have here is our Lenaro Open Embedded LAMP image. So you can see it's generic ARMv8. This is real ARMv8 hardware running in Lava. It's an 8 2 gigahertz design. So what else is the advantage of uh, hacking? Well, lava. 
it's great to actually, so when you want to, when you want to prove out your tests that you want to run in Lava, uh, I find, and many other developers within Lenaro find, that uh, to have a hack session provisioned so that they can run the commands on the target before they write the, the test script uh, helps a lot so that they can prove out uh, any other steps. Uh, typically what they used to do was they write their test script that they submitted to Lava, they'd wait an extended period of time, uh, and they'd find out that there was some error in their syntax or the test didn't execute the way they thought it would, and then they would have to iterate on that test design again. Now, simply with a hack session, they can log into the device under, under test uh, and interactively work on their test until they get it right and then they simply just automate it. So we found that it's really helped developers' workflow here at Lenaro to uh, get, all, get the automated tests integrated into Lava and, and start you know, getting the value and, and the return on investment uh, from using Lava quickly rather than you know, waiting and iterating and being frustrated that your tests don't run uh, and you're not sure why because you don't have direct access to the target. So what's going to happen in the future with Lava? What's, what's the next, uh, what's the roadmap? Well, so, so our, our next big challenge is virtualization. Uh, on, on platforms like this, where we're, we're focused on servers, um, we need to be able to validate KVM. And it's not just one KVM guest, it's N number of KVM guests. So we've, uh, as you might see over here with the LNG table, yeah, let's take a look. Uh, they're actually using Lava uh, to demonstrate their validation. And we'll, what they have here is that they have an x86 machine, they have an Arndale, and they have a Keystone. Uh, and they're using Multinode, which is a, a new feature we've added in Lava to allow uh, a test developer to describe uh, a, a number of boards in a test. And then Lava will orchestrate all the boards at the same time, synchronize the boards, and allow the, the boards to pass data back and forth so that we can have these you know, network performance tests. We can have uh, large clusters of, of ARM boards uh, that, are, that are orchestrated and, and uh, are all synchronized between each other. So we're taking this, this feature and we're going to extend it to feature virtualization. Now, if you, if you think for a second, uh, if this is a KVM host, and this might be a KVM host here, uh, and we want n number of guests on here, how does Lava deal with uh, accessing the guests, displaying the console logs, um, and, and running tests within a guest? Uh, that's something that we've never had to deal with before. Uh, we can do it simply with one KVM by running a simple script, but when you start adding you know, multiple, multiple virtualization uh, guests inside uh, of, a, of a ARM host, it gets much more complicated. So that's what we're really trying to enable this year is uh, the validation of virtualization on the ARM platform. And uh, Lava is actually physically in Cambridge in the UK? Yes, and, and there's, there's quite a few more installs. So we have, uh, we've, we've sort of distributed Lava this year. We've put the mass, when you go to validation.lenaro.org, uh, you're actually visiting a dedicated server instance uh, in Germany uh, that links back to our Cambridge lab where we have uh, 16 dedicated servers that we call workers. And the, each of these workers have a certain subset of boards connected to them. So they all work together as one Lava server. So what you see at validation.lenaro.org is essentially 16 servers with many, many ARM uh, platforms connected to them. And uh, so in the future, do you think it's going to be like uh, much bigger, like many more it's going to be like a data center full of boards or what? It's already a data center full of boards, but yes, we are constantly expanding. Um, our members are getting actively involved with our development and they're seeing the value that, that, uh, that we provide with Lava. And, uh, you know, members are sending 30 boards at a time now. So uh, very shortly here, I believe we're going to have the, the most embedded ARM boards uh, in a single data center. That, uh, so do they queue up and uh, there's a waiting list to get in? Yes. How so does it work? Well, when you submit a job, uh, it queues initially, and then we, we've written a scheduler that will schedule jobs on boards. Uh, you can describe a device type in a job, you can describe a target in a job, and the scheduler will allocate those resources when they become available. But when you're a more important programmer, you get faster access or not? Oh, we, have, we have a priority system. There's so, a priority system. Yeah, so there's high, medium, and low. Uh, a lot of times our Android guys uh, want to get a release out quickly. While their CI jobs are running, they'll submit a, a job as high priority and be able to jump in front of the queue uh, so that they can get the Lenaro Android build out on time. Do you have enough capacity that's right now or do you need much more capacity? Well, physically we're limited. Uh, we, we need a bigger lab space. Uh, I, I, I host community.validation.lenaro.org. It's about 40 boards. It's for community development. Uh, we're we're Hoping to, to have uh, the VLC team uh, validate uh, ARMv7 and ARMv8 uh, VLC builds 
in the community server. So uh, we're starting to scale up and out in the sense that uh, we're, we're having a multiple instances uh, of lava being installed other places uh, so that we can help distribute uh, the load a little bit.